Torture Talk. Top 10 coming up. Alright, Torture Talk. I guess I'm going to start with the... There's a lot of shit going on. I guess I'm going to start with the honorable mentions. Well, the honorable mentions. So, the honor, one of the honorable mentions that I'm going to go with uh, is uh, the John Connor SOS. Alright, for me, this, this project was okay. Um... It was one of those projects I think that I would I probably wouldn't listen to again. Um, I think he, it's kind of like it was, even though this was like one of his major debut albums, I guess, or I don't know if he had another album before this, but for me, it was his major debut album. Um, it sounded like a farewell album. Like, there's a couple of things I didn't like about it. There's a couple of things I did like about it. But overall, um, it's an honorable mention um, out of the list that I put up uh, I think that you should go check it out it's worth a listen uh, John Connor SOS honorable mention number two would be uh, Mega Stallion Mega Stallion or Mega Stallion whatever her name is uh, it's just so weird name uh, Sugar uh for me, Sugar was uh, was a little bit different. Uh, I thought Sugar could have been better, but you know, I think that her just the way she raps. Sometimes I think people plan these albums to try to be successful. They don't actually just go in with raw talent and just do something. They actually just try to make it like it's this every song has to be a hit and sometimes that's annoying because you can tell that that's what they're pushing for it's not something that a B cut can actually make an album very good and some of these songs I felt like she was trying too hard um, but it's worth an honorable mention I think the album was mixed down okay I think uh, overall I would recommend you know this album and go check it out. All right, Tory Lanez, New Toronto Three. Tory Lanez, Canadian artist. This album for me was okay. Um, it's worth definitely worth an honorable mention. I I listened to this album uh, a couple of times. Um, I thought that uh, he sounds a little a little bit like Drake, but I mean to be fair, nothing wrong with sounding like Drake sometimes. It depends on how you do it, because uh, you know a lot of Drake is, has influenced a lot of artists. But for me, Tory Lanez, uh, what he shines at is some of the songs where he just goes off and he raps. And I actually like Tory Lanez's rapper better than the singer, and I think that he should do more rapping than singing. Kind of the same way I feel about Drake. Uh, so, album is uh, mixed down pretty good. Um, I thought that. Uh, Certain songs he could have kept off of here. And again, like the Sugar, I think sometimes people look for those hits. I don't think he necessarily was doing that on this album, but I could see that he had some B-side cuts. And some of them B-side cuts that make a strong album, like I said before. Alright, so New Toronto 3, I definitely recommend going to get that. And that's it for the honorable mentions, those three. You know, tell me what y'all think about them. Alright, time to get to the shits. Number 10, Dark Lane Demo Tapes by Drake. Even though I really didn't uh, feel this album as much as other people did, I thought that it could have been a little bit better. Um, it hit my top 10 of best albums that I heard so far this year. Um, I think that Dark Lane Demo Tapes... Um, the reason why I chose this over the John Connor is because this has a lot of replay value. And my score might have been lower for this than the John Connor, but if 
if there's replay value on the album, the score most likely is going to go up. So it could have been a tie, but at the same time, um, I think that Drake, this album has more replay value than the SOS uh, project. So Darkling Demo Tapes um, coming in at number 10. Um, Drake's back with what he usually does, you know, rap sing, rap sing, you know. I think that uh, overall the album, album seemed like he had a bunch of songs on there that could that he threw on there. Some old cuts I think that he had. So it really, really um, isn't fair to really judge this as a complete album, but he put it out, so I have to judge it as an album. Um, and I think that most people are going to enjoy it if you're a Drake fan. If you're not a Drake fan, you might like it. He has some some good songs on there, some some good raps on there too. So uh, that's my number 10, Dark Lane Demo Tapes. All right, number nine, Conway the Machine, Lulu. No One Mourns for the Wicked. I put those two projects together. Made one album. Alright. Griselda's on Conway the Machine. I think that uh, these two albums for me kind of was like uh, a little bit of breath of fresh air uh, when it comes to this hardcore street rap. Um, only thing I think that these artists or Conway, I should say, is lacking... Uh, conceptual music I think that uh they I think Conway and, and Griselda kinda gets in that mode where they mix the same type of music but it's at a such a high level that people appreciate it. So um these two projects I put them together as one. I think that um it's my number nine because of the influence that is starting to get on people and I think that um they have a stronghold on the street rap and they're kind of bringing it back to the forefront of of hip hop especially during these times um raps were on point uh the the listening was on the instrumentation was on point i think i think it could have been a little bit better but it was it was tough um it was tough enough to reach my number nine so far this year. Number nine, these two projects put together. So, um, I guess that uh, I should say I can recommend this. I think people should go out and check it out. Um, Conway is, is one of those artists that's very vocal about his material, and he's one of those artists that probably, if you say something to him on Twitter, he probably would say something back. So, that's another thing that I appreciate about artists like that. So. Uh, the Lulu, no one mourns for the Mick, uh, no one mourns for the wicked. Conway the Machine, check it out. All right, man. Number eight, Graf, Oracle Three. All right, Graf is an older artist um, from back in the day. Uh, this album for me, uh, I put at number eight because the production was production was really good. Mixing was really good. Um, the raps were really good. The features were good. Um, I didn't review this album yet. I actually have it on, on the chopping block, but I just didn't put it out yet. Uh, pretty good album. I think that Graf uh, showed his versatility. I think that um, he showed that he can keep up with the best of them with his raps and his lyrics. Um, I think that this album... To me, was 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 uh, I gave it a I gave it a strong eight, uh, maybe a light eight. I gave it a light eight probably, but it was something that I think that most people are gonna listen to and they're gonna like. Um, I don't think it necessarily has a lot of replay value, but it's like one of those movies that you see and you like it, but you probably wouldn't watch again, but you'd be like, that was a good movie, and that's kind of how I feel about the Graph album. Um, Probably something I probably would never listen to again, but I would definitely recommend it. And I like certain songs on there, I think, uh, stood out. But Graph album was pretty tough. Uh, check it out, Graph Oracle 3. All right. Number seven. Number seven, 
would be uh, West Side Gun, Pray for Paris. Okay, so Pray for Paris for me, I necessarily, I really didn't like this album like that. But it came in my, at, it came in at my number seven because it has a lot going on, a lot of good things. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to like it. I mean, I can necessarily, I can say that I can put an album somewhere and I guess I didn't like that, but I can understand why it would be so high or why it would be so low. Um, different material, different beats. Uh, I think that uh, it, it just brought a different type of vibe to what's going on right now. Um, again, I necessarily, I necessarily didn't like this album as much, but I have to appreciate the artistry in it. And I think that him not being a very good lyricist, he put together a pretty good album. Um, just the way he, you know, the way he formulated it. You know, certain songs I think stood out. Um, and this album had a, a strong impact on what's going on as far as street rap goes. So, um, I put Pray for Paris at my number seven. Um, I think that uh, what I didn't like about the album uh, is, again, for me, the subject matter is basically the same. But I can excuse that because there's other things that's going on in this album. And it's the reason why I put it at my number seven. So uh, check that out. Pray for Paris. I think that uh, people who are into that will like it. Pray for Paris. All right. Number six, Jada Kiss, Egregious. All right, Jada Kiss came in at number six. Um, I think Egregious is one of those albums that Jada Kiss was a coming of age album for him. I think that uh, it's one of those albums that I wish he had made years ago. Um, but here we are today and making this now it just goes to show how much of legends these guys are the locks and they can put out music today and how mature they are in what they're talking about certain things i think was a little bit cliche on there like you know i remember the song why and he got a song called me and it's like i get it dog you know what i mean but at the same time he had a bunch of other songs on there it's another one that i think that the movie was good. I don't have to watch it again. It was a good movie type of albums. Um, I think that uh, you learned a lot from Jada Kiss on this album. Showed showed me that he don't just necessarily rap about uh, the color of his whip inside, the color of the car, and, and and you know I don't know what block he ran, and you know his gun smell like. His bullets smell like gunpowder cologne and all this stuff. The witty words, I think that he showed us a little bit more depth in this uh, project. So, J.D. Kiss Egregious coming in at number six. Uh, go check that out. All right. Number five. Styles P. Gosha Enthusiasm. Coming off the heels of Egregious, uh, Styles P drops his album, one of the Locks members. Um... Very good album. Now this is one of those albums that is the opposite. Movie was good. I well, said opposite, but movie was good, and I probably will watch it again. Um, very good album. Instrumentation is good. Another another reason why the locks are so legendary is because they can turn it on and off. Now the locks are understanding that. Sometimes you have to play two lanes, especially what's going on now with uh, the sensitivity in, in the music business now. You have to play two lanes. And Styles P is one of those artists, I think, he understands that now. He did that. And this album doesn't sound like any of his other projects. I think that his other projects are a little more harder than this, but I appreciate this one a little more because he pushed it to another level. And again, Styles P... Uh, Great album. I uh, want to give him a round of applause if I could, uh, but not right now, <laughs> uh, 
for doing this. Uh, also, Styles P is one of those down to earth type of people. Um, if you get to know him and speak to him, he's one of those down to earth type of people. He's another one that will comment if you say something about his music. He's that passionate. Uh, and he does things, uh, I would say, effortlessly. Like, I think he's pretty good at what he does. So, Styles P, new album. Check it out. Comes in at number five. Don't stop. All right. Number four. Stove God Cooks Reasonable Drought. All right. Album. Great. Doesn't sound like anything probably I ever heard. This dude is pretty good. I like how he switches between flows. He brought a different element to the to I would say to music actually. Um, this this project is pretty good. Um, although I think he talks about the same things, but it's just the way he puts it. He puts it in a, in an artistic form. Again, I go back to uh, artists who just rap, just rapping. To me, it kind of gets boring really fast, especially if I heard it from you. But if you can do something that you're talking about the same stuff, but every time you do it, it's in a different way or semi different way. I'm got to be completely different, but I think that uh, from what this guy is doing he's going to be something special if he keeps going uh i think that this album was a very strong strong album very very good for me it came in at my number four and i think that uh a lot of people i recommend this album is different and you like it stove cod cooks uh reasonable drought check it out all right number three Top three, baby. Number three, Eminem. Music to be murdered by. Uh, Eminem, what can I say? Legendary Eminem. Music to be murdered by. When I first heard it, I was amazed. I always say to myself, Eminem can never get better than what he's doing every time he does something even in his worst projects i always say he can never get better than this and somehow he always proves me wrong production was great songs were great different type of vibes even some of the songs i didn't like on here stood out to me and that's another thing about great artists they can make music that you necessarily don't even like but you it, it's catchy to stand out and he has some songs on here. I was like, okay, I don't like that. But it stood out. And I think that this album definitely came in my number three. Um, I don't really have any issues with this album. Uh, maybe the fact that uh, Eminem uh, sometimes gets a little bit wrapped up into what the fans believe. And what he think. But at the same time, I can't really get mad at him for that. Because it's his art. So can you really say but I uh I definitely put this at my number three. Uh music to be murdered by. Great skits, great uh great songs, the production was great, the mixing was great, of course the mixing was great, the raps were top notch, I don't have to say anymore. Alright. Down to the wire. Number two. Number two. Royce the 5'9". Royce the 5'9". The Allegory. Damn near classic album, man. I swear. Royce the 5'9 is so amazing, man. This guy, this guy Royce did an album. Almost a classic. And he produced it. Like, how amazing is that? You don't know how to make beats, but you come out with an album and it's damn near a classic off of you learning how to make beats and you're just getting better at it. And it's like, he's like a machine, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Where's the five nine is amazing, man. I, I think that if I ever wanted to be a rapper, I would want to be Royce the Five Nine. <laughs> That's the real shit. Like I would want to be Royce the Five Nine. I think that he's uh, his lyrics is great. His flow is great. He's versatile. He has great songs. He hits home with everything. It's just the only downside about this album. I just think it was too long and. This is one of those movies that I think uh, albums that I would say was a movie that I've seen too many times and I'm like, okay, I don't want to watch this no more. Or, I'm not going to put this on. It's like, you know, um, I think that it's great. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. Highly recommend the allegory. Again, the only downside about this album to me was maybe it was a little bit too long. And uh, he could have maybe took off one or two songs. Not that saying that the songs are, or, or wasn't great. I just think that you overkilled it with it. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you get into stuck. You get in that moment. You say, okay, this song is good. I'm putting all these Jones on here. And I think that that's how he felt. So, Voice of Five Nine, man. Amazing artist, man. Check it out. Allegory. All right. And the number one album, hip hop album that I heard so far this year, Ransom. The director's cut. One scene, one and two. <laughs> My God. Okay. Where do I start? Okay. I listen to this album every day. Literally every day. It's not even a fact that it's only 27 minutes long. It's not even a fact that the beats are phenomenal. It's not even the fact that his raps are phenomenal. It just, it just is. It is. It's, it's, it, went, it went from a strong nine to a 10 to me. This is a classic album for me. Um, people will probably would disagree with me on this. They'll probably say, oh, no, I got this album over this album. I go, the replay value on this album is phenomenal. I, 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 I don't even know how to even explain it, how good this album is. It's like everything he says is a story inside of what he's talking about. His words carry so much weight. And I think that a lot of a lot of these artists that's beneath this album, I didn't say beneath this album, but that's number six, seven, eight, whatever. They don't really carry no weight behind what they're saying. And just how he spun it to using the movie themes and the song, the titles of all these these movies. Oh my God. It just gave me that feeling, man gave me that feeling just the skits and and I, I can listen to this album literally I can go to fucking Taco Bell up the street from me and go order something and by the time I'm back home the album's over and I just listen to it that's how great it is and I'm like okay let me play it I go go in the kitchen start to eat play. <laughs> go in the kitchen I'll cook I'm cooking I put on a half an hour meal on the stove and it's like this album is done and it's repeating again. It's like, I can't really say too much. This album is great. It's it's one of those albums that I listen to all the time. And and it's definitely my number one out of all the albums I heard this year. Uh, of course, Ransom is not as popular, but I don't care about that. Uh, I care about the material and how it makes how it makes me feel and the music behind it comes behind it. Um, instrumentation was classic where the raps were classic it's really nothing I could say uh, it was a very hard choice between this and Royce at number one but I gave it to this be I gave it this album over Royce number one because of the replay value to me and I listened to it so much so uh, Ransom go check that out I definitely would recommend that director's cut scene one and two uh, and yeah, that's my top 10 
list, a few honorable mentions in there. Uh, but as of now, 2020, uh, middle of 2020, this is my top uh, 10 list of hip hop albums so far. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torture Talk. You know what time it is.